Hello everyone, it's Dio from Firm But Fair Gaming, bringing you another Diablo 3 video. Welcome everyone to this week's weekly challenge video. So of course this is the challenge number 224 and we are looking at a crusader again. So what are we rocking here? We are using the Seeker of Light build. So this is going to be based off the Blessed Hammer. So every time a hammer hits an enemy, it reduces the cooldown of Falling Sword and Provoke. So Falling Sword is of course this one where you flap in the hour, air, come down and smash the ground like Thor landing, deal some damage. Uh, what else are we rocking with here? We are using a Measure Smith. So when we kill an enemy, it reduces cooldown by one second. Uh, Guard of Johanna, so we're going to deal more damage with our hammers for the first three enemies it hits. Uh, our belt is Sacred Harness, Judgment gains the effect of Debilitate Rune, and is cast at your landing location when Falling Sword. Okay. We have increased the duration of Phalanix. Oh my god, I can't believe I mispronounced that. I'm not even going to try again. Our neck is... Worthless, we're going to be it's Kimbo's Gold. We have a couple yellow items. So basically we're walk, rocking one le, um, legendary gem, Bane of the Powerful. So once we kill an elite, we're going to have a buff for 55 seconds. And that's all we got to work with. So I guess back to the set. So we take 50% less damage after we use Falling Sword. And the damage of our hammer is increased by 15,000% and Falling Sword by 1,000. So we're also rocking the cooldown reduction gems. So basically we're going to jump and land on things. Obviously that's not going to do enough damage. And then we're just, our whirling hammers here is going to be the main thing. Of course we have our laws of valor. So for that, what are we rocking here? We got critical. So critical of course is increase the critical hit damage. We're also rocking iron skin with flash so this is a damage reduction and flash basically increases our movement speed and we can walk through enemies acrobats with profit so of course so that's our big one basically increases our damage and our wrath regeneration and we get more armor while it's up provoke with two scared to run is we're going to taunt everybody near us to hit us and we're going to generate wrath uh, for each enemy taunted and then their attack speed is reduced so that's cool like that and then we got Heavenly Strength to equip two-handers, more damage, holy damage, a second life, and more damage from having gems. So basically, we're going to throw hammers. And the more you throw, the further out they get. Obviously, I'm not, I wasn't on the same level, so I couldn't hit that guy, but that's kind of the thing. It's so when we get into a group, like, we're going to have that. We're going to run out of our wrath, and then to get it back, there's our falling sword. And then we're just going to provoke while everybody's around and that's going to give us back all our wrath so that's basically it and we're going to try to keep accurates up as long as possible same with our law and use our iron skin we will not get a movement speed as well as some damage reduction so that's basically the walkthrough so let's take a look and see how we do in the rift all right let's give this a whirl and see how we do so there is a conduit that is right up above us like up here but we're not actually going to go for it because, oh that was a terrible leap, or falling sword, it is entirely out of the way and not very helpful to the overall route. We're going to be much better off going straight up the gut here. And just blowing up this blue pack, there's going to be another elite pack just in front of us here. We're just going to go straight at it. It's much more time efficient, there's actually no elites up above and there's not even good density because we just spent so much time running that we're better off just going straight across and getting on to the next level and progressing forward. So we got a channeling pile on there. Gonna run straight up here, throw a few hammers, get that going. And kill this guy up here. Come on, get the hammers going. There we go, got that taken care of. Onwards and upwards, let's go. It's going to take about three floors to get this done. Definitely if you don't go for the conduit, that you can see it, like it'll be on the map that we had on the first floor. I'm just going to go through here. going to be another magic guy right here. 
We actually make quite quick work of them. And there's another one here. There we go, got rid of that. Our channeling pylon I believe is over. Unfortunate. Now we're gonna head to the right here. And straight down. Now there's another pylon down on the bottom left over here. You can see we're doing pretty good on time. Shield pylon. Pick that up real quick. Wasn't much to kill there. Keep going through. Not really much up above. There's a little bit, but not that much. Want this guy. Oh, of course he has to be shielding. I forgot about that part. Quick work of him. Keep moving on. We're doing pretty good. Move down here. This is a much up around the other side was just hallways. This opens up quite nicely. Let me get some good density in here. And we got a nice little champ pack here. Take care of that. Go through. Nothing on the other side. Also, some of those big guys are worth some good percent. And we got another door. Onwards we go. Well, this is good. Oh, that tickled. Oh, got procced. Got Akrats up again, so we should be good and just need to find some density here so we can spawn the boss. And this should do the trick. Oh, there's an elite right there. Uh, it's a shame that we don't have accurates for this. This is going to make it take a little bit longer. Oh, wasn't expecting that. And there we go. Not the cleanest, but we got it in time. How do we do for ranking? 10, not bad. That's pretty good there that they got there in three and a half minutes. That's basically the route and that's what we need to do in order to time it. I'll probably do it again just for fun because it's actually not a bad build. And once we get the movement speed, but again, the first level, we just want to go straight through. And we're just picking the best routes to get through the next floors to optimize our pylons and pick off the elites. Um, and yeah, so this is the quick run that we have this week. Not too bad. Can do it in under four and a half minutes. So easy to make the timer there. We lost a little bit when we ran out of Akrats and then just trying to find the percent there on the last map. But overall, pretty quick run, pretty speedy. It's an interesting build. I'd actually never played um, the Seeker of Light build before. So it's a little bit fun, a little bit of Thor throwing the hammer and doing the falling sword. So not too bad. As always, okay, so that's just going to wrap up the video. So as always, we appreciate bringing you guys, these guys these videos. If you have any questions or comments, please let us know below. Uh, we appreciate any likes and subscribes and shares. So good luck. Enjoy the easy materials this week. And we'll catch you guys again next week.